G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin and I'm an American living in beautiful Sydney, Australia. So even Aussies have heard about Super Bowl ads over in the States. Companies put in millions and millions of dollars to get these commercials made and aired during the Super Bowl. And in 2018, the year the Eagles first won their Super Bowl, I'm just putting that out there, there was a slew of ads for Tourism Australia back in 2018. They came up with these fake movie trailers for another Crocodile Dundee movie, and they were so funny. I still remember seeing some of them to this day. So, so let's take a look at some of these fake movie trailers for the upcoming Dundee movie in 2018. So not really upcoming anymore. So grab a bicky, grab a cuppa, and let's watch a couple movie trailers. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Every American knows that line. So I know a lot of Aussies, as soon as you ask me what's the most iconic Australian movie, they'll say The Castle, the majority of Aussies I've met. Americans have no idea what The Castle is. Like, to Americans, Crocodile Dundee is the epitome of Australian movies. That's what they know, that's what they're familiar with. <laughs> that's me. Brian Dundee? Yep. Really? Yeah. Really? Why do you keep saying really? You are right there, mate? Nothing to see here, man. Just getting a clean shave with my machete. See you next week, Barry. You know, when your dad did it, he was he was much... Okay, and when my dad told me about this, he was just like, yeah, I just came up and he did, 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 did this, okay? I just don't think he can see you from back here. Oh, I love that they've put in, like, so many references to the Crocodile Dundee movie. That's so... Like, I wish this was a real movie, you guys. I I wish they had turned this into a real movie. How how funny would this be if they actually did? But let's face it, I think most of us have seen the Crocodile Dundee movie. We get the references. Like, like they made references that Americans are going to get. Like, I'm glad that since this was aimed at an American audience, obviously it's tours in Australia, they're trying to bring people from America over. This isn't meant for Aussies. They made a lot of references that Americans would get. And I've seen a couple tours in Australian ads that are bad, you guys. Like, I'm not talking shrimp on the Barbie bed. I'm talking just bad in general. If you want to see what some of those are, let me know down below and I'll do a reaction to some of the really bad Australia tourism ads. Not a lot of crocs out here, huh? It's just 37,000 miles of pristine, beautiful beach, mate. Did you know that Australia makes some of the finest wines in the entire world? No, I, 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 I didn't know that. Thank you very much. Wait, hold up. This isn't a movie. No. It's a tourism ad for Australia. Yes. But listen, you're, you're the best Crocodile Dundee since Crocodile Dundee. Really? Yes, really. Mm. And we had the best trip ever, didn't we? It was pretty sweet. Hey, you know, there are some great flight deals to Australia right now. Dude, I get it. It's not a movie, it's a commercial. A little nod to Paul Hogan in this, too. I love that they still showed a lot of the Australian, like, wilderness and showed some of the wildlife without it being snakes and spiders. I feel like that's what so many Americans see. And weirdly enough, Crocodile Dundee wasn't one of the movies that put that in Americans' minds. Like, obviously, we thought, okay, there's crocs in Australia, obviously, given the entire premise of the movie. But Americans still think of Australia, they think of deadly snakes and deadly spiders and crocodiles and sharks and deadly jellyfish. Like, you know, the, the list goes on. You know the generic, like, dangerous wildlife over here in Australia. But there really is so much Australia has to offer, it has to see. I really... Like, if I could just snap my fingers and bring people over, I have a list of 100 people who I would love to bring over and have them see what Australia is actually like, because it's an absolutely beautiful place. I mean, there's so much to it. Like, I really wish that this was the Australia that Hollywood would portray a little bit more than some of the generic stuff that you see out there with the big, deadly, scary spiders and snakes and all that nonsense. And I feel like Australia doesn't show up in the news that much either. The way that the Australian media just highlights shootings and military stuff over in the States, American media really only highlights the crazy wild stuff that goes on in Australia. So obviously you have the bushfires and you have shark attacks 
and once in a while you'll see videos go viral of giant huntsman spiders and whatnot or finding a deadly snake in the pot of your stove in the middle of the night like all these wild crazy things that do not happen to the average everyday aussie Good day, losers. Yo, where the kangaroos at? Brian Dundee? Yep. Really? Yeah. Really? Why do you keep saying really? <laughs> what do you mean Dundee's lost in the outback? He is the outback. <laughs> Crocodile Dundee is how a lot of Americans see Aussies, especially those who live away from the beaches a little bit, more towards the actual bush. Obviously, most Americans don't know that Aussies don't live in the outback, but to Americans, Crocodile Dundee is the outback. Nobody talks about Mick like that. Careful with that knife, mate. It's pretty sharp. A knife? How big? What do you mean there's two of them? Ever seen a humpback whale give birth? It's a bloodbath. Speak to me, little guy. Now, when your dad did it, he was he was much. Okay, and when my dad told me about this, he was just like, "Yeah, I just came up and he did this." Okay? okay, I just don't think he can see you from back here. I don't just own this newspaper, son. I own this country, and Dundee's going to learn who the most dangerous animal in Australia is. It's me. Whatever. Yeah! My mom's yeah. side of the family are all jazz musicians, so it kind of comes natural comes. to me. Wow, wow, oh, I wish this was a real movie. How funny would that be? Watching these makes me want to go and rewatch the Crocodile DMD movies. At least like the first two. The third one, the third one did not need to be made. I'm just saying. But the first one, it's a classic. I mean, it's what put Australian movies on the map. Up until then, there was no. Aussie movies whatsoever in Hollywood. No Americans really knew much about Australia other than really what they saw in pictures. The internet wasn't much of a thing yet. Obviously no internet, no social media. So a lot of Americans first time e experiencing quote unquote Australia was through movies and Crocodile Dundee was a huge Aussie movie at the time. It wasn't a thing. It was new and a lot of Americans just they loved it and that's how Australia has been seen even recently like with social media and the internet we still see Australia as that deadly mostly outback area crocodile Dundee takes place in so it's nice to actually show like a little bit more of what Australia is actually like but I love that they had like literally an entire cast put into this trailer multiple trailers made they actually made a couple more as well i think they're gonna be repeats but let's see what they have in the next couple trailers hmm. come on i think it's working mate you're disturbing my mind energies you can't speak when I'm doing this, okay? It's got to be super quiet, just a connection between me and the beast. Okay. Here we go. Please don't say anything when I do it this time, okay? Yep. I, I could just sense that you're about to say something, and that's already trying to mess up all the brain energy stuff, okay? Okay, I just don't think he can see you from back here. Should we just go around, maybe? Whatever. I love how he says whatever you know in Australia, they wouldn't say whatever. They'd say, fuck it, let's do it. But you cannot curse during Super Bowl ads like that. So they still have to keep it pretty PG. They're definitely not going to start putting Aussie swear words and stuff like that in here. I thought there'd be a little bit more Aussie slang in here too, if I'm going to be honest. But 
you definitely can't use the words Ozzy's would use in those situations. Good day, losers. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Look at that. Look at me. Look at the knife play. Uh, it's all short and sweet. Uh, it's another common thing for Super Bowl ads to have like multiple of them and like sort of relate to each other. I remember the same Super Bowl tied um, laundry detergent did a huge thing where they'd have this beautiful or really really epic commercial and then at the very end just go oh wait this is a tide ad it was like four or five commercials throughout the entirety of the super bowl so i remember that australian tourism did this as well they had multiple movie trailers and it looks like there's at least one more Kangaroos at Brian Dundee. Yep. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Why? Why do you keep saying really? They have to make them look like such an American tourist walking off there. Like even with the neck pillow still on. I mean, oh, that's so cringy. Do we really look like this, you guys? I mean. If you're walking down the street and you saw somebody looking like this, maybe like Sans neck pillow, would you automatically pin them for being American? I mean, I've heard that's very common in Europe for people to do that, but I feel like when it comes to American and Australian clothing and how people dress, it's actually pretty similar. So obviously if you're seeing somebody dress like this around the opera house or something, you're gonna know that they're a tourist, but if you saw somebody walking like this down in your neighborhood, would you think that they're American? Like, do Americans have a certain look to them that Aussies can pick out the same way Europeans can? Let me know down below if you can actually like spot an American tourist without like the really, really obvious stuff like an American flag shirt or an American hat or something like that. I'm gonna lie, this one got us. Some of us didn't realize that this was just a fake movie up until like a couple days after the Super Bowl when it came out that this was just a fake movie ad. So not a really uncommon gimmick to make like fake movie trailers and whatnot. But for Tourism Australia to make us think that there was going to be another Crocodile Dundee movie, I gotta say, a lot of people were actually pretty excited. I remember quite a few people I was watching the Super Bowl with were like, oh, when's it coming out? We should get tickets. We need to go to the movies for this. We were disappointed when we found out that this was just a fake movie trailer. We really wanted to see another Crocodile Dundee movie come out. That is how Americans picture Australia. And but Tourism Australia got really, really creative that year. I love what they did. I love the fake movie trailers that they put in there. I love the references that Americans could get. I love that it showed like Australia in like its natural outdoors and it wasn't shoving it in your face. I've seen so many ads that are like, come check out our wine regions and then here are pictures of our beaches and then look, here's a kangaroo. And like they just go through this generic checklist of stuff that they know Americans are going to want to see. And it's frustrating because there's so many better ways to do it and I feel like these fake movie trailers were so good. So yeah, I don't think we're ever going to see another Crocodile Dundee movie. It is what it is. But I love that they still made little nods to the whole Crocodile Dundee, how Americans see Australia bit. I think it was really, really well done. It was really, really clever. I don't know if it boosted Australian tourism. I mean... This came out February 2018. I came over December 2019. Um, so I can't say that this trailer was like the reason I came over to Australia, but I wonder if it did. I wonder if it helped boost Australian tourism at all. Personally, I would love to work for Tourism Australia. I think that would be a dream job that's so, like it's gotta be exciting. You have to be a little bit pumped up every day to wanna do things like bring people over and find reasons to be excited about Australia and to come over here and to visit. I feel like that would just be such a cool job, a cool industry to be in. But that again, 
that's just me i'd love to work for tourism australia one day i think that would be awesome but oh well <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's only open to Aussies. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button down below, particularly the subscribe button that does really, really help out this channel. And I do appreciate the support you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.